Hello, dear sacred community. I just wanted to say hello as I am completing this process of transforming my apartment back to its original constituent elements. I have been sorting, sifting, and packing literally for six months and very, very intensively for a week now. And um, I'm going to show you just what everything is starting to look like now. These are the last bits of things that I'm deciding on to bring to me. I now have most of my items in storage, uh, a small storage unit. All of the furniture has been taken out this past week, almost all of it given away. And uh, so now I have the exciting process of deciding which of my clothes I'm taking. This is a big deal for Marguerite, okay? Just because, you know, she has so many clothes. All right, just take a look. Take a look. This is just not even the half of it. All right, she's got this closet, and then she already gave half of it away. My God. How many clothes could this girl have? You know, she thinks she's going to take it all on with her. Okay, so now I still have some things to do, some admin to do before I go. There's many, many things that I haven't been able to finish uh, in the in computer land. But what I wanted to do was really get a little serious and just spend a moment about sharing what this has meant to me. Um, this whole six to seven month process has been an extreme initiation into my past, my present, and my future. Um, going through every single item that I have owned, every single piece of paper that I had in my files, which was considerable. These are old articles that I wrote in my previous incarnation as um, a freelance writer working for various universities and other clients, um, doing magazine articles. Uh, you know, just so many, many of my files and the various aspects of my life, my, my life as a junior archaeologist and going to conferences, um, my life uh, as, a, as a, um, an academic, a scholar. There were many, many, many uh, books that I gave away. And all of those releases indicate, I realize, that I am releasing those aspects of my life and also those aspects of my past life. So I'm very excited um, about this because it's not only been a releasing, a soul releasing, but it's been a soul retrieval because it's, I've, I've been um, looking at so many of my journals and so many of my past writings. And so also family memorabilia, every single item from my past going to my childhood and before to my family, my mother. It, it's been a very, very deep, deep process of gathering what's been good about my life and good about my family and leaving the rest. So um, today I go through this process of figuring out what's going in the car and the rest of it has to go into the storage unit. And so what this is coming down to is what do I really need to live? I will be at people's houses and uh, friends, family, clients, students, um, you know, different loving people who have opened their homes to me. But the question really is, what do you need to live? And I'm finding that I'm able to pare down and down and down to the essentials about that. Um, I, it, this process of releasing so many of these items, paring it down, getting it in, organized in storage, has felt also like getting a mountain off my back, a mountain of energy that needed to go. Hugely liberating, and I'm really looking forward to getting in the car and, <laughs> um, getting in the car and just, um, you know, going and feeling that exhilaration. I see that some of you are watching. Thank you for being here. 
with me as I describe what it is to be downsizing as a sacred woman, as an individual who has been doing intensive uh, spiritual service for for years now, and I'm just moving into a new phase. I'm I'm releasing some of the old attachments with some of the old um, deity groups that I've been serving and so forth. And I feel like I'm moving more and more into truly connecting with Mother Earth and the fairies. This is exciting to me because it feels very, very liberating. It's putting me much more in touch with Mother Earth um, and not so, so much with, you know, the astral realms where I feel like I've been dwelling for so many years. And I, I just need a human, a human Earth life now. So that's what's happening. Um, the feelings within me have been manifold and I've already been sleeping at a friend's house and that's already showing me that um, this is requiring, this journey is requiring the need to be flexible and that I'm much more flexible than I thought I was. I thought I was kind of a creature of habit, but actually I, I'm resilient. I, I'm a creature of, of um, groundedness and uh, the ability to move with the flow. That's really important to me and to all of us. So I think there are many levels and deeper meanings of why I am being called to do this journey. But um, the liberation from stuff and the liberation from uh, a location uh, that had served me for a while and that was starting not to serve me is going to, I think, open up a lot of energy. So that's it for now. I will be back um, at different points and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.